Well, you might notice the Murray Baker Bridge is lit up tonight in Teal. It's Monday evening. I'm Amber Kriska. Thank you for joining us. It's to raise awareness for Cervical Cancer Month. In tonight's top story, Paige Blanzi explains why one survivor has become an advocate for early detection. The bright teal lights behind me will be like this until Friday, serving as a reminder for women everywhere to go get tested for cervical cancer. It was the quietest silence that I'd ever heard. I never heard anything as quiet as when she said you have cancer. At 34, Jolene Whistler found out she had cervical cancer back in 2006. So less than a week later after getting the diagnosis, I went in and got a total abdominal hysterectomy. Then after that, nine weeks later, I was getting mapped for radiation. About five months later, Whistler was in remission, but she says that almost wasn't the case. I was irresponsible. I didn't go get a screenings. I didn't get my pap, pap test like I was supposed to. Now she's an advocate for other women, serving as the Peoria chapter lead for the National Cervical Cancer Coalition. There are probably women out there who maybe haven't gotten their paps you know, pap test in a while and not thinking that it can affect them. The CDC says about 4,000 women die of this cancer each year with 13,000 new cases. The Tazewell County Health Department screened more than 800 women last year. And cervical cancer is preventable when you do have those screenings because it's detected a lot of times very early. Whistler hopes her story will encourage other women to make their health a priority. It's so important to get checked. It's so important. It can save your life. The Tazewell County Health Department offers free screenings for women eligible from Peoria, Tazewell, Woodford and Marshall counties. For now, Paige Blanzy reporting 25 news.